Um, okay, so I hope you do two things today. Um, the first thing is for Adam and for Yosef. So let's do this. This is also technically the first Agatha in Sota. I know there's been a request to give share on the second Agatha in Sota, which is the Basheret one, which I will do. I plan on doing that. I really do. It's such a fun Gemara. It really is. It's awesome. The philosophy is great. What? Yeah, that's part of the discussion. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Um, and it was also part of my speech at my engagement party was I gave, I managed to take a mini lumdish share on that, on that, um, on that sigya and, uh, and turned it into a drusha. And it was fun because like random Rosh Yeshiva showed up. It was, it was fun. There was one Rosh Yeshiva who I ran into at the airport uh, flying to Toronto. And so he just, it was the first time I'd ever met him, but then he just showed up in my engagement party because like, why not? I heard there was I heard it was going on, so it was fun. Uh, but anyways, but the first thing it says actually before then that is the question of the order of Seder Nashim, right? So you I, you're all doing so Yeah. Everyone's doing that. Everyone has done the first ten lines of the Gemara, where the Gemara says, "What is the first question of the Gemara?" Though it is quoted here in the Pnei Moshe. Why? Why does Sota follow? Yes. Why? Why does Sota what follow? Nazir. And the Gemara's answer? Because Haroe Sota Bikilkula Yazir Atzmo Min Hayayin. Because right? someone who sees a Sota should realize that the only reason that would happen is alcohol. And therefore should stop drinking alcohol. And rather than just stop drinking alcohol, he should become a Nazir. Right? That is the Gemara's answer. Right? Now, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. I, once I remember I once talked to Ray Willig about. You know, what he's he's about as part of my vehemence against alcohol consumption comes from being a Talmud of Rabbi Willig. Um, and Rabbi Willig once just said to me, he's like, you don't know how many Shilas I've had to deal with of women who went for one drink, got drunk, woke up in bed with a coworker, and then I got to figure out what to do because if you sleep around even once, you're usher to your husband. Right? I've seen too much, and it, right, it happens. Okay? It's really bad. And, you know, I've heard from many Rabbanim, those Shilas are really bad. Okay? They just, and you'd be surprised how often they happen. Right? I know, I know it happens even on the U.S. at Hotline, where people will call after having committed adultery and ask what to do. Right? This happens. It's really not a good situation. Um, and often alcohol is involved. I, I don't even know what the, the question is about, but yeah. Go ahead. Oh, wait, we haven't done anything. That's all I've done. All I've said is about the, what the Gemara says. Yes, Rami. Okay, so I, 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 that's the Yes, I know. In the Gemara, even in the Bob leads flipped in the opposite direction. We, yes, we're aware. So, so, this is, yes? Okay, okay. Okay, guys. So here's, here's, here's what I want to do first. Adam asked me a while ago, because Adam and Yosef are learning the Yerushalmi Sota. And at some point, they just looked at the Yerushalmi and said, hey, the Yerushalmi has a totally different order of Seder Nashim. What? And there are different versions in the Mishnah, and different versions in the Yerushalmi. The order is all over the place. Yes, I know. So, as some of you know, I've been going through Yerushalmi, you know, I'll say there since the beginning of basically, well, since we started that, but basically this is what has kept me sane during Corona, right? It's just, you know, I'll get to the end of Yerushalmi. When I'm finished, it'll all be over, right? I really thought it would, corona, the Corona met disaster would be over before I finish Yerushalmi, but it's looking the opposite. And that's not because of how fast I'm doing Yerushalmi, it's because of how long this is going on, okay? Um, but I, I noticed when I finished Yvamo, um a uh, few weeks ago, that the final comment of the Pnei Moshe, was one of the main commentaries in Yerushalmi, the last page, is this question. So he has a mini essay at the end of Yivamo, and then he has like brief comments at the beginning of Ketubo and the beginning of Sota, and being, where he addresses this Bavli Yerushalmi question. And it's not just an order question, right? The point is that if the Bavli has a 
theological message that comes from the order, then the Yerushalmi must have a different message, and that's why it matters, right? Um, but I don't think this is going to take a whole time. I don't think it's going to be able to share, which is why I want to do two things. But I want to start with this, because I promised Adam and the other would do it, and the Pnei Moshe really tries uh, to do it. There might be other attempts, but this is at least the most systematic attempt that I've found, and, you know, yeah, he just, like, puts it at the end of the Yerushalmi. In case you were wondering what's going on, here is my, my theory. So, so let's read it. Amar Sa'ir. I always love when people start that. It, it's, it's meant to make you feel inferior, right? I'm writing this when I'm young. Really, I also wrote a parish on all of you Yerushalmi when I was still Sa'ir. That always happens. <laughs> it's like the Rambam when he says, when I was at Sa'ir and I wrote parish of it's like, yeah, you finished when you were 25. Like, how inferior do you think that makes the rest of us feel? Uh, it's like, which it, is not as bad as Ravadia's biography sometimes, where it's like, I published my first book when I was nine. It was a parish on Hurio. How? What, how did that happen? Like, what possessed you? It's really, it's really, well, no, that was when, you know, like, you guys are all like, oh, I teach my son Navi, and he's seven. Like, Ravaran told me he made his own CM on Tanakh when he was seven. I'm like, Sure, sure. That's what I did. I did that too. Great. And then I made a CM on Shas when I was 16. It's like, okay, fine. I also did that before I started college. <sighs> but Pene Moshe was Sa'ir when he wrote Pene, with the Pene Moshe. He said, Ra'iti l'chdobo ta'am l'seder ha'shas, ha'zeh. I've decided that I have to explain to you the order of the Yerushalmi. Shishinami sidor ha'bavli mamash. Right? The entire order is changed. Did not got sota achar yivamot that because at least in one order sota comes after yivamot, which is by the way not in ours. This is in his, which is not in mine, which is very confusing, right? Because in mine sota comes much later, but in his sota came after yivamot. Whatever. Um, the Achar Kach Tubot, and then Tubot, Unidarim Gitten, the Hadar Nazir. Right? So for him it was, Yevamot Sota Tubot, Nidarim Gitten, Nazir Kiddushin. Okay? Which is not the order I have in my Yerushalmi, but it's definitely diff- different than the Bavli. And he said, the problem is that the Bavli Reh Sota, Kalmar, Michti, Tanami Nazir Salik, Mai Tana Dedani Sota, Kidirebi, Dedani Rebi Omar, Lama Nismecha Parshat Nazir, Parshat Sota, Lomer Lachasha, Rekol Roa Sota, Pekilkul, Yazir Asmo Menayayin. Right? The Yerushalmi, the Bavli says, why is Sota after Nazir? Because anyone who sees a Sota, Pekilkul, should stop drinking wine. And then the Gemara asked the obvious question, Vilitni Sota, Vahadir Litni Nazir. Right? It's Rami's question, all, also known as Gemara's question, which is, well, then why isn't it in the other order, which is Sota Nazir? That doesn't explain like Nazir Sota. So the Gemara says, Aidi de Tana Ktubot, de Tana Hamadir, Tana de Darim. Va Aidi de Tana Darim, Tana Nazir. De Domi Lina Darim, Tana Sota de Rebbe. This is the Bobli's very straightforward, very clearly linear thought process here, which is, we talk to about, which ends with a parak that talks about what happens when husbands and wives make the dharma against each other, which reminded us to talk about the dharma, and once we're talking about the dharma, we talk about a specific ne- nezir, known as the nezir of nezirud, and once we're talking about the nezir, that reminds us that someone should become a nazir after they, they see someone in a suit, that's how that goes in that order, right, that is the Bavli's very, very straight, obviously intuitive organization of, of shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, but it's a Gemara. I, just, I, I would like to remind you it's a Gemara. Now, the biggest problem the Pinimos is going to point out is where should Nazir have gone? In Kudshim, because it's all about Carbono. So it doesn't even make sense that it's in this Seder. Forget where it is. It's just in the wrong Seder. It's all about the Carbono or the Nazir. There's like this much about Nazir and this much about Carbon. So it's not even the right Seder of Shas, right? So this is really chaos. Right, this is the problem. So what do you do? So he says, Umavuar who demashaherech hashas belishne, that that which the the Bavli goes through great length. Vahader litni nazir. I did it on. I'm sorry. I did it on a tuba. Vitani darin latarat akusha michti tanemi nazir. Solik vaidi lanedarim lanevisayistagi. 
Right? He says, right, this is quite a lot to explain his whole thing. Avala Iker who lamaid Amar Reish Nazir. Mirzi, Tani, say there, the say there, Nashim Kai. My time, Atani Nazir. Said the real reason is you have to start with this as your starting point, which is, why is this in Nashim at all? Right? This is the real question that the Pnei Moshe things drives the Yerushalmi. Is that before you ask the Bavli's question, which is why is Ursota and, and Nazir related, you've got to ask the question, why is Nazir in Nashim at all? Which, I don't know if you ever thought about this fact, right? Look, if, I get it. Nidarim, a lot of Nidarim is about promises of a husband and wives. I get it. And if Nazir already makes it in to Nashim, so maybe it shouldn't be near Nidarim. But Nazir has nothing to do with marriage at all. Like, not at all. And yet it's in Nashim. That's a problem. And this is a bigger problem, a much bigger order problem than, than the order. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But he said, that's great. If it's... Oh. So here's what he thinks is going on. So he says... Because the Yerushalmi believes that, the, that what guides this is a different drasha. Not the connection with Nazir and Sota, but, but, Vahaya im lo timtachen be'enav, ki masa ba'ervat davar, vahachi ka'amar, mi garam la'avera, yayin. Yerushalmi says, wine isn't what caused Sota, which is, a suffolk adultery. Wine is what caused vadai adultery. And therefore, it should be connected to which Mesechet? Gittin. Because what's the last mission in Gittin? It's also one of the greatest organizational mysteries in the world. Because, right, Gittin, the first, if I ask you how Gittin should start, right, it should not start the way it does, which is the first... Yes. So that happens on Daphne Zion. Okay? The first parak is about what happens if a witness, sorry, if a shliach carries a get from a foreign land and says, that it was signed in front of me. The last Mishnah in Gittin is, when are you supposed to get divorced? That is the last Mishnah in Gittin. Okay? Which is why when I was in Shear, where the Rosen's like, we're getting, we started at Dafsadi, and then went back to the beginning. Okay. Um, but the, but the last Mishnah, guys, the last Mishnah in Gittin is about when you get divorced. And there's a three-way machloket. What is it? Beit Hillel says, Afilo hechdicha tafshilo, even if she burns your, your food. Beit Shammai says, only if you find Ervat Davar. Only if she is involved in some sort of promiscuous relationship. And Rabbi Kiva says, a few right, Even if you find someone more beautiful. But that means that according to Beit Shammai, the only time you can divorce is adultery or maybe some other things which are like akin to adultery. And therefore, in the Yerushalmi, the Nazir problem isn't attached to Sota, which is Suffolk adultery. It's attached to Gittin, which according to Beit Shammai is the only time, the only time that can happen is adultery. So the Yerushalmi says, Vika'amar, Kolaroa Sota Bikilkula, Yazir Asma Menayayin. When you see a woman who actually was involved in Vada adultery and got, and got divorced, so then you should stop drinking wine. And why does the, pretty much you think that's more reasonable? Then the Drasha and Sota. Because it doesn't even sound like it's the Sota dying as much as the Sota going through the process. Right? Where you're not even sure she's guilty. Yes. We'll, we'll get there. So he says, because of my toast votes, the law of Imati Mamer Taima Kidamar Bere Sota. Tosma said the reason that it can't follow the, the Sota 
version. The I did it on a big two about how Madir, Tanan did Darem, I did Tanan did Darem, Tanan Ami Nazir, Ula Kaksharan, Mithir Nashim. Why couldn't it say the Bavli? The Yeshlomer, Mishim Bilom, Mistabrele, Agav Nidarem, Lishvek, let's say their Kadshim, Shakulo Karbana, Viroi Nazir, Lishana, Natam Tve. Because for that small connection between Sota and Nazir, you're going to pick Nazir out of the right Mithacha, out of the right state there? In Kajim and put it in Nashu? No, I say that's the exact one, one second. I'm not saying it's successful. I'm giving you an attempt, okay? I, I don't know how successful it is. Um, you, if Nazir and Nidarim are so connected, maybe you should have put Nidarim in Kajim, because it does have connections to Kajim also. So, and that's why in the Yerushalmi, it's not a Svara, it's a Pasuk, right? Namely, that it's going on Beishamai, that there's only one reason that someone would be able to be divorced, and that happens because of wine. Adultery happens because of wine. This is his view of the Yerushalmi. The Im came, again, I'm not saying you should be convinced, but I'm giving you an attempt at this. By the Pinochet. The Im came. The Im came. Al Karchach Mistabe Al Kay Mistaberle Kule. That's right. Sarak ta it's very small print, so I skipped the line. Um Al Gin Sarak Hakha Litaima the Aidi Dara Ksubatan in the Dharam Gih Logic in the Dharm Agav Nazi Bas their Kachim. So he said, here's the logic. Nidharim couldn't be dragged into Kachim because of Nazir, because it's too connected to Ktuba. And therefore, Nidarim had to remain in Nashim. But that wouldn't be enough to keep Nazir in. Meaning what you needed was two things. Nidarim had to be conceptually linked to Nashim. And then Nazir, logically, should either go in Kajim or be connected to Nidarim. And if I have a link that will keep it to something else in Nashim... So then, the combination of its relationship to Nidarim and its thematic connection to part of Nashim will keep it in Nashim. I am with you that this is convoluted, but remember the Bavli started it, I'm just saying. Hey, okay? If you're on the Bavli, like, if you're always on a tangent, I can see the logic, you can keep on going. Yeah, sure, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. And then he says, me, Lo Kra, Nakat Kra, sorry, um, And now let's come back to the order here. It didn't connect it to Nidarim. It didn't connect it to Sota. Right? If it's not next to Sota and it's not next to Nidarim, which in mine it actually is, but in his it apparently wasn't. Um, so what's it doing here? You can't do it going back to the Sukkim, Dim Kain, Avela Midley, but there's Sota, Nazir, but the Nazir Nidarim, but the Nidarim Ksubos. Because then you should have had Nazir Nidarim Ksubos. Because it, So the Yushami throws his hands up in the air and says, I don't know what to tell you. Om Nam. Ki Daikinan Shapir. When you're careful, hadinu taima de sidura dai tamuda. Here's the logic. Da tozo ziktiku bin nazir sham. Al hadika amar tana akrakai, bikola roe so de bikil kula. Tozo was commented on the drasha. De lama lola harach lashon of a lomer kola roe sota. Why did the Bavli have to say this whole story? One who sees a sota. Right? Tell this whole story. Just say, this is the right thing to do. The mayan zelaze. What drove you to link was not the fact that Nazir and Sota come next to each other in Nusso, but it was the Pasuk from Gittin that teaches you the dangers of wine in the context of marriage. Um Dikhtevahaya. Because Yerushalmi thinks that's a real drasha. That what caused the sin of Gittin? Wine. 
But still, you have to know why is it next to the Because it's after Gittin. It should be after Gittin. And we should have to say, to call a row as Sota Bikil Kula Yazir, to teach you that anyone who sees a Sota should become a Nazir. Begam Zavera. Who be time at the Hacha Lechud Losagin, and again, let the Sota Berech of Ahadir Nazir, can say there are Parsha. But if that was all it is, it should be Sota, then Nazir. The Kach Tarach Taim at the Hadam Agav Amadir, Tana Nidarim, Bagav Nidarim, Tana Nazir. Right? The Bavli's logic, according to him, is Ksubos is connected to Nidarim. Nidarim links to Nazir, and then Nazir and Sota are connected, even though in the opposite order, but it's continuing on a theme that started with Ksubos. That's the Bavli's logic. Fine. The Avitan and Nazir Bazar Gitin, Avamina Deno Shaila Hazar Asmana Yaman Roa, Gram Avera, Vada Minayanya. In the Bavli, we don't put Sota, F, we don't put Nazir after Gitin, because you might have thought that the Musr of becoming a Nazir was only for someone who actually committed adultery, saw someone who committed adultery. The Chiddush of the whole Bavli, according to Bey Moshe, is that even if you saw Sota Safik, that's enough to motivate you to avoid alcohol. Right? According to him, this is the entire theological message that drove Nazir to be where it is in the Bavli. It's to connect it to Sota and not Gittin. To teach you that even suffix Sota, you should avoid alcohol. And then he says, but when you only see a sota, where you're making her disgusting, meaning she's still a suffix, but feel the suffix owes in gahu, mamma should him to tahora. Ahaka for niblo da the machma de in mutter la hazar azma min nazir. The helka kamar begam zelvira. You might have thought that if it turns out she's innocent, that that shouldn't motivate you to be a nazir. That even though we don't like Nidarim, it's enough that you saw a Sota in the suffix Sota stage to motivate you and allow you to take a unnecessary Niziros. Because at the end of the day, even the Sota suffix was did stira. And so for the Pnei Moshe, the big Chiddush that really justified everything was Ksubos to Nidarim. Nidarim to Nazir, Nazir to Sota. But it all came to teach you a message. And it wasn't the message you thought. It was that the message of Nazir isn't connected to Gittin, it's connected to Sota to teach you that wine doesn't only lead to adultery. Sometimes it leads to other promiscuity, like stira, that leads someone into a suffix Sota. And recognizing even that is enough to make it a moral, religious, legitimate act to become a Nazir. Let me at least get through this and I'll take questions. That's the Bavli, according to him. It's a bit convoluted, but that's the message he boils it down to. And he said, if that's the case, that's the Machloket, according to him, Bavli and Yerushalmi. Avo lo macharia nivo. Levad, the Yerushalmi doesn't believe this. It thinks that it's a problem to become a Nazir. And remember, you're going to ask me, what's the problem to become a Nazir? It's a machloket in the Gemara. Is it a mitzvah or an avera to become a Nazir? Right? It's not obvious you're allowed to become a Nazir because, right, it's all on how, why you bring a chatas, because you're preventing yourself from enjoying this world, which the Gemara thinks is a problem. And therefore, he thinks that Yerushalmi has a higher standard and won't want you to become a Nazir unless you actually witness someone who had to get divorced because of actual adultery, not promiscuity, stira, that might or might not have actually ended up in adultery. And therefore, he says, that's the big machlokas. It's after gitten. Um, 
Misiata Dishmai Gishom Mikomo. It's really not me. Time of the Aidi, the Aidi, Tanik Dubo, Tan in the Durham of Alok, the Masik of Bavli. It's from the time of the El, the Nazir, but they're getting Dafka. The Kadi initial on Lavar, my time on Naka, so the Baji of Amos. But he said, if that's the case, why in his Yerushalmi was so to after Yavamot and not after Gittin? Good question. The near he said there's a technicality. In the end of the day, technicality. And that is, that what is one of the last figures in Yavamot? The question of whether a Sota can perform Yavam. And the, and the end of, your, the, of Yavamot tells you that a Sota cannot. He's Petura of Minachalitza. Um, and therefore, Vada ibn Ol, Batumak Siv Baba Karais, Ukarav, Babli, Nami Reshivamo, etc. And that's what he thinks. That's how he explains his order. Is that compelling to anyone? Out of curiosity? Is that compelling to anyone? I don't know. But that's his theory, right? He thinks at the end of the day that there's a moral lesson here in which you order and a halachic difference. I don't know if I can convince, but at least it was an attempt. Yes, Adam. Correct, and therefore he thinks at the end of the day it boils down. In the end of the day, it boils down to machloket for him of whether the real problem here is sota, meaning sota suffik, or the problem is is gitten, which he thinks comes down to what really justifies this avoidance of wine. Now, the real problem for me is that, I mean, this is a nice attempt, but it's A, convoluted. B, it doesn't fit even the order we have. Yes. Yes. So I don't know if it works, but I said we would attempt, and I don't know if it works. Yes, I know there's a different order. We've been through this five times. Yes, I know. I don't have an explanation for it all. I don't. I gave you one attempt. I don't know. Okay?